Okay, so what I'm going to talk is uh, talk about the insert tab where we are going to learn how to insert or attach an image or a reference image which you overlay to work with your drawing so you can have something underneath and use it for tracing. Uh, then we are going to talk about the inserting OLE objects which is inserts a linked or embedded object as in uh, an Excel file, a Word file, uh, you have a presentation file, PowerPoint, so on and so forth, even a Photoshop file. So you could go and insert all that in your AutoCAD drawing from here and use it as a reference or you can uh, use it as, uh, uh, as for making tables as well. So before I even get to this, I'm going to start to show you how to make tables. Okay, so first I'll go to annotate and then go in the tables where I can create a table. Now a table looks something like that and uh, it's usually uh, an Excel file uh, or a Microsoft file that you can import using that or you could create your own table. Now when I click on this, it shows me this window where I start from an empty table or I start from a table that has been linked. So to start from an empty table, it shows me how many columns I have, how many rows I have, right? These are the columns that you see and and these are the rows. Well, the row width and uh, data rows and stuff like that. So I could select maybe rows as maybe 10 and hit OK. Now I specify an insertion point, that's where I inserted it. And I can zoom it in to see my table. Now I could go click in and type whatever I wanted, like this is my schedule window where I can put in doors, windows, you know, like walls, and stuff like that. And I could give in the details of how many doors do I have, what type of doors, what type of windows. So in architecture drawings, you do use quite a bit of uh, window schedule. So you could use um, that tool where you would go and annotate and insert the table, and you could bring in a table and just start working it right there. At the same time, you could even link a table as in you made this same table right here in Excel and you could link it with AutoCAD and have it imported over here. Anytime you change the original, it should update in here as well because it is uh, primarily the same file. So I'm going to delete this. Now again, if you want to insert a table on your own without using Excel, you can just go click here and uh, make the table by inserting the number of rows and columns and putting in all your information. Or I could even go in from a data link where I click on launch the data link manager and create a new Excel data link. I'm going to give it a name, whatever, and hit OK and then it asks me browse for the file. So the file should already be there somewhere on my computer, which I have it right here. It's exactly the same file as you see over here. And I hit open and I hit OK. 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 And that's where that file is. So if I went here updated any of this information in the future, this should update along with that, okay? So that's what tables do. You can draw a table or you could insert a table by using the data link. So uh, let's go to the insert tab. Now you have the data link stuff over here as well which you could use but I would say go to annotate and use it from there. Uh, you could 
even insert not just only Excel files and stuff like that, but you could go in here in OLE objects and you could insert a Photoshop image or uh, Microsoft Excel or a PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, Formula, Presentation, OpenOffice. So you can pretty much insert any of these files, not just Excel. But again, you should have it saved on your computer so you could draw it into that specific program and insert it as an object from here. You could either create new, just like you created the table, or if it's already existing on your computer somewhere, you can go create from file and browse it and select the file and hit OK. And you could insert it right there. Okay, so that's what importing uh, as an OLE object does and that's how you draw a table now what about inserting just an image to insert just an image we have to go over here which says attach so it attaches an XREF image DWG DWF so many different types of file types you know when uh, I later on I will get to XREF which is uh, which will take me some time because there's a lot of information when you work with XREF, but today I'm just going to talk about how to insert an image in your drawing. Now, when would you uh, in use the attach command to insert an image is, especially when you have drawn a sketch onto a piece of paper, and you want to take that sketch, it could be a floor plan, it could be an elevation, and you want to transfer that into an AutoCAD drawing. So you would take that sketch, scan it on a scanner, save it somewhere, and go attach, click on the image that you want it to bring in, hit open, specify screen location, everything looks fine, hit OK, and click on your screen. Specify the scale factor, I want it maybe just that big. So now this is how I imported my sketch or a picture or it could be any other drawing that you scan. And now I could use this as a reference to trace to draw whatever I need. Now you could even modify this reference by using XClip where I select the object, new boundary, and I just want maybe this much area. And I need to work with with just this much area so I could use an X clip. I could even go adjust and adjust and modify this by clicking, double clicking on this and it gives me so many adjust options. Obviously this is not a Photoshop program but you you have a few things that you could you could do with adjusting the image and uh, use it for, what do you call it, use it for tracing. I could turn it off and on uh, again transparencies so once that is done I would use my basic AutoCAD tools to start tracing my drawing right so this makes it a lot more easier because I can trace it and when the time comes I will just go ahead and scale my drawing okay So that's where inserting an image using the attach command helps a lot. Okay. So that was about inserting image. Later on we will talk about XREF where instead of inserting an image as an overlay, you will insert an AutoCAD drawing as an overlay. Okay. But again, as I said, it will take me a couple classes to explain the whole process of how to work with XREF. Then the next one we have over here is uh, blocks, inserting a block and creating a block and editing a block. Now my next class is going to be about how to make a block, create a block, insert a block. These are pretty important things that you need to know in AutoCAD uh, because uh, a lot of people for some reason don't understand. They're really easy to use but for some reason People don't understand how the blocks work, how the XREFs work, but if you're uh, going to work in um, an architecture company, then it, it is really important that you understand how to work with XREFs, how to work with blocks, 
how to insert images, how to, you know, uh, how to use data links, how to insert an OLE object. So we'll get to that when the time comes, but basically this is what I have in here, okay? So what else could I go through over here? Let's see. There's another thing called as the Design Center. Now if I click on the Design Center, now the Design Center has preset blocks that AutoCAD has already created for you. So there's a block for a range top oven, microwave, refrigerator, and when you create your own blocks, you would be saving it in the library just like this. So when the time comes to use it again, you don't have to go ahead and draw the whole thing or try to look for where you drew that block because it's just one click and it's already saved in a library or something called as the Design Center. So it's really easy. I can just go click on that. I see my library. Now AutoCAD comes with a lot of default ones. Now this is just one of these. But then you have landscaping. If I click the blocks, see I have all landscaping. Uh, then I have the kitchen blocks. Then I have the pipe and welding and dynamic blocks and stuff like that. So maybe I'll just take a landscaping block right now just to show you how to put it in. Now this is a top view of a tree. I'll just double click on that, hit OK, and click somewhere on my screen to show the insertion point. Now if I zoom out, you know, that's a humongous tree, right? It's obviously compared to my uh, little Excel drawing and my image. But you could always scale it down by using the SV command, enter, and click anywhere where you want to scale it down from and give it a scale factor as maybe 1 by 20. Okay, so now the tree has gone down 20 times as to what it was before. So all these you can find in the Design Center. Now again, these are preset uh, blocks that are already there. So use the car, double click on it, hit OK, click on the screen. Okay, now obviously bigger scale, but you get an idea how to import your uh, blocks from the Design Center. Okay, so stay tuned. Next class will be about uh, inserting blocks. It's really easy. I'm going to show it to you in just one class. Uh, after that, we will jump to working with uh, XREFs. And we have a couple more topics like uh, working with uh, paper space and model space that you see over here. Uh, you have a little bit idea by now if you've watched all my videos how this works but then I will have to show you again uh, one whole class, may, might be two, how to work with viewports, how to scale the viewports, how to create new viewports, and uh, how to export a drawing, how to print a drawing. So there's quite a, f quite a bit of information coming up, uh, but I should be done with AutoCAD, I would say, like in another two weeks. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always ask me, always comment, uh, about the video if you understand what's going on if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to tell me and I hope you learn from all these tutorials a lot more tutorials for other programs will be following suit I will be working with uh, even Illustrator Photoshop Inventor 3d Max and as soon as I find time I will keep uploading these videos okay all right, this is your instructor, tutor, Ali, and I hope to see you in the class. Bye.